yeah, I feel like we just woke up that next day and just knew that we were gonna fight and we were gonna keep this baby. But yeah, we had about 24 hours to decide if I was going in for a radical hysterectomy or we were going to start a round of chemotherapy. So basically, um, just under five years ago, um, I was diagnosed at 20 weeks pregnant with cervical cancer. We were basically told to either keep the baby and fight and have chemo or terminate the pregnancy the next day. So yeah, biggest decision ever to be made. Um, but we decided that we'd, we'd go for it and that we would fight, fight, fight. I started the chemo pretty much the next day and then um, had about 10 rounds of chemotherapy and had her fine and healthy at 34 weeks. If I wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't have found out that I had this tumor and potentially may have had a hysterectomy the next day and not had her ever, well, ever been given the opportunity to have her. So, so, so grateful that we were pregnant and that we fought it. And yes, I may have had to have the surgery in the end, but we have one really healthy and happy, almost five-year-old now to tell the story. <laughs> I am blessed to one, have lived so close to the hospital and the treatment that I got from stepping into my shared care, um, midwives and my oncology ward and the chemo room and the professors and then the neonatal and the acute care from ha having my, my surgery. It was, I think I touched all bases of that hospital and I could not fault a thing. I was so blessed to be so supported with our decision and just looked after from the minute I walked in the door.